But speaking of comics, um, Sonic 43 is now out. Uh, I have not had a chance to read it yet, and I will explain why I haven't picked it up yet in, in a couple of news stories from now. But needless to say, that 43 is out. And have you seen this cover here of Sonic on Zavok's head? <laughs> Oh my uh, god. <laughs> worth that, a deadly six when you all I can say is worth a deadly six when you need him. <laughs> the only deadly six member that survived is Savic. Where what where, where's the love for the other deadly six members? They only been in one game and that's it. <laughs> they have to have the one that looks closest to a Pokemon representing. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I don't know wait, Zavit wait, Zavit looks looks like a Pokemon? Looks like a demented incineroar to me. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, Wait, look at that. Way. It's like put a fucking comparison is... somewhere. It's like look yes. at that and our then look final, at this. It's like our final, our final fire for Smash, ladies and gentlemen, Zavek. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, I'm not kidding. Don't I'm give kidding. him any idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's not. A... No, no. I'm, I'm not gonna finish that. I'm not gonna finish that. Oh man. Uh, but I really, what I really love about this cover, it's just the look on Zavok's face with uh, Sonic on top of his head like that. It's just like he just. Why is Sonic on top of my head? <laughs> he he looks like he's about to pop a bane. Oh my god! Like, oh, like, really oh no! No! He's just got that look of. Oh, do I really have to deal with this again? <laughs> <laughs> I've dealt with him for two games already. I don't want it to be a third. That is hands down one of my favorite covers so far. So far. Why has he why hasn't he done that about their Eggman yet? <laughs> Maybe I, one day. One day. One day, but not today. I can just see the fan artist scribbling their Keep it on track like a Long Island train. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know he's been in New York. So, yeah. Um, if I can pull up the... Uh, the... Oh, my gosh. The, you know, uh, Google just picked the wrong time for them to sign me out on stuff. Oh, Why no. Why would you do this? It's Hello like... there. Alright, well, no! the, the, the next topic is the IDW Publishing Sonic Number 44 preview cover. Well, yeah, I was going to talk about the synopsis for 43. That's what I was trying to get to. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. so uh, the synopsis for Sonic Number 43 uh, basically reads this. this uh, Sonic the Hedgehog versus the Deadly Six Zeddy. Who will win the battle? Find out in the action pack Zeddy Hunt Part 3. It's all hands on deck as Sonic and friends struggle to defend the newly rebuilt Restoration HQ from the Deadly Sex. Which begs the question, when are they ever going to remake Sonic Lost World? Oh, oh. Um. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this out right now. Lost World was probably one of my, one of my not so favorite games. It's like, I, I tried playing on it. I could not get past the first... Uh, after level two or yeah. whatnot, and it's just like I gave up. Yeah, cause I, it was yeah, frustrating. I never big on it either. Same I got here. through I, it, but something felt. I like couldn't finish the game on on the Wii, like on the Wii U. But Wii U, um, Wii U yeah. yeah. Um, Sorry, wait, did they do that for uh for the 3DS as well? I forgot. Um, it did. Yeah. Oh yeah, it did. Yeah, okay. It okay. So I was able to finish the the one from for the 3DS, but not the Wii U. Yeah, Sonic Lost That's the World only was... game I never could never complete it. Sonic Lost World was probably the only Sonic game I can remember that actually bored me. Like, I remember getting the game, like, for Christmas, I believe. I played it, and I thought it was just boring. It was just absolutely boring. It probably didn't like, help that it felt a little bit like a Mario game first off. Mario Galaxy. Yeah, it mm. yeah, it yeah. was trying to be... It was, it was trying to be their answer to Mario Galaxy, but Mario Galaxy did it right. I mean, mm -hmm. keep in mind, like, the only time Sonic ever tried to do a Galaxy game, it, it was before Galaxy. <sighs> Mad Space from Sonic Adventure 2. Oh, yeah. The game that pre-lose Mario oh, Galaxy yeah. by a few years. Yeah. 
Mm. No, yeah, not many people like Mad Space. <laughs> I don't like Mad Space. <laughs> I really don't. No, I don't. So, yeah, Lost World was definitely there. definitely my least favorite. I mean, I I think I liked it. I can't remember if I put it ranked above or below Sonic 06. I, I want to say I put it below Sonic 06 because Sonic 06 at least has that compelling story to it. Yeah, true. Yeah, I'm not sure if I would put it but, at the very bottom rung of the ladder. But. No, I, no I, feel like, I feel like the bottom ranked Sonic games would probably uh, be oh gosh, um, Sonic Labyrinth? I yeah, I was thinking the same <laughs> thing. I was yeah. thinking Labyrinth and Same Rise here. of Lyric. I know, uh, I know, oh, played yeah. Rise of Lyric, and, and probably for good reason. <laughs> felt, I felt unclean playing it. It's like, oh god, the glitches, they're even worse than 06. <laughs> I am unclean. No! I'm not playing with Rise of the Lyric. Like, it was legitimately worse. The controls were so stiff and so awkward. Just ugh, never again. I mean, the only Sonic Boom games I ever played were the Sonic Boom games for the 3DS. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Same here. They are much mm -hmm. better than the than the yeah, one Sonic Boom game for the for the Wii mm -hmm. U. It's like they they actually gave a lot of thoughts on the 3DS. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, we're probably going to get off topic here, so I'm just probably going to just uh, move on while we while, while we still can, while I still got an out on this. Because we do got to mm -hmm. talk about the uh, the Sonic 44 preview. Uh, right. Which, I got the cover here by Gigi, which, who, who's another topic we're going to talk about here in just a moment. But uh, for the moment, we're going to talk about, th that's an awesome cover that Gigi did. Gigi did. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah, it's a wonderful yeah. cover. Uh, Gigi does amazing artwork for the song community. At, absolutely. absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, Gigi's a good friend of the show, a good friend of uh, Sonic Revolution, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to call her my friend. So, uh, you know, any chance I get a chance to uh, display her art, I will do so. So this is the cover I would prefer showing off when talking about Sonic 44. Uh and the uh, synopsis for um, 44 reads as as shown here from um, Previews World. Um, missing Belle the Tinkerer doll-like look, blue eyes made of wood, usually wears a green hat and is known for being clumsy. The search for Belle begins. Sonic and the Chaotix search far and wide for their new friend as she fights to escape. Will that be enough, or have the bad guys already won? And where have the Zeddy gone? Find out the conclusion to Zeddy Hunt. So, I guess we're going to end like, this mini storyline. Mm -hmm. I feel Hello? like the comics are now coming back from Sonic Lost World. At least, I'm actually glad that the, that, that, that the comics are giving the characters from Sonic Lost World more love than the actual games themselves, basically. I, I remember when I was talking with the IDW gang, we were they were talking about uh, uh, going into uh, to uh, having more of the Zeddy in there. Uh, Ian really wanted to show uh, the the Zeddy in a better storyline than was previously uh, known. Mm -hmm. uh, he right. said he he loved the whole uh, elegant monster trope, which is yeah, what, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's true. Yes. Which is definitely uh, Zavok to a T. Yeah, I was gonna say you can see it in Zavok. That is true. So that that's one of the things because he, he said he knows that people want to skip this particular story arc, but he said try to bear with him on this. Because mm -hmm. he, right, he tries like, to uh, the Zeddy the sleeve. The Zeddy again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know yeah, not a lot of people even like the Zeddy, so it's just like yeah. <laughs> I don't, don't like the Zeddy. I mean, don't blame us. Blame Sonic Lost World. Yeah. <laughs> but Ian does good for you, what he has to work yeah. with, so. You do have to appreciate yeah. that. Like, <laughs> and, and trust me, there's a lot of stuff Ian has to try to write around with all the restrictions he's got put in place on him. And it's just like, 
you got to admire what he's able to do. For the hand he's dealt, he does really good. Right. Yeah. So, speaking of, so, 